everybody, it's Rob and Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby, and today we're taking a look at the F86 Sabre Micro EDF from Great Plains. Yep, uh, first for Great Plains to do a micro, as far as I know. Correct. And um, it's new for us to have micro EDFs. Yes. This is a big, yeah. a big step. Typically, we didn't have the efficiency and the runtime and stuff to be able yeah. to, to put an EDF in a micro platform, but it looks like things have finally arrived to the point where it's, it's viable. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the specs. The uh, Great Plains F86 Sabre. Is, has a 15 inch wingspan uh, with a 53.1 square inch wing area. The wing loading is 6.4 ounces per square foot. The overall length is 14.4 inches. Now the weight, all up weight with battery installed is 2.35 ounces. Uh, the motor is actually 11,500 kV. That's right, 11,500 kV. I can't hardly comprehend that. It's amazing, isn't it? Brushless in runner motor. And the, deduct the ducted fan unit that's inside is, a, is actually a 30 millimeter hyperflow uh, ducted fan unit. The ESC is a 6 amp brushless ESC. It has a 7.4 volt LiPo 2S battery that ships with it. And the charger is a balancing DC LiPo battery charger. Now, the onboard electronics that come in the TXR version, uh, it is a 4 channel 2.4 gig SLT micro receiver installed along with three digital ultra micro servos. Uh, now the, the uh, F86 is going to require a transmitter, of course an AnyLink and a compatible 4 channel transmitter or a Tactic 2.4 gig radio with SLT, which is their secure link technology. Get us familiar, Rob, with what comes out of the box. Will do. Right out of the box, everything's ready to go, um, other than plugging in your optional landing gear and charging your, your flight battery. And if you take a look down the inlet there, you'll see the 30 millimeter hyperflow ducted fan unit they used. This is a full four channel throttle, throttle elevator, rudder, um, ailerons. If you take a look at how they're controlling the ailerons, it's kind of interesting, even on a micro. Um, you know, we've got two bell cranks there coming off a single servo to, to control those. Um, you just don't see that kind of linkage, really. Yeah, it's interesting. It is. Way to keep the uh, ducted fan clean or the uh, inlet clean. Yeah. yeah. And another point, interest, uh, point of interest here, Kurt, is your tiny little man that you have to paint. Yeah, I don't see that? So. I, I want you to do him upright. He'll, do him he'll be sprayed with black spray paint. Well, I noticed you have a lot of radio sitting over here, and I'm not really sure what that's all about, so <laughs> why don't you describe it? All right. Well, there are a lot of cool things going on with uh, with this plane beyond just, and I'm going to grab a, a, one of our pieces from behind the bench here, beyond it just being a, a micro EDF and, and a Great Plains uh, product, they came out with the AnyLink system from Tactic, and this was a pretty big announcement on our site and a lot of other sites in the last uh, few weeks. AnyLink allows you to kind of move into that um, that uh, receiver ready or actually transmitter ready uh, a side of the business with micros, which we've seen some other manufacturers do. This allows us to take our, um, I wanted to jump ahead to our radio systems. We can use our TFG Super, which is a standard for Taba radio, and actually fly the, uh, the Great Plains plane. It's ready to go. Um, all you need is, in this case, we stuck an AnyLink transmitter module on the back of it, and then you connect through the cable into the trainer port and what it does then is it gets its power and then also its control from the uh, from the radio system when I turn on the T8FG it um, if I can find where it goes it actually powers up the unit and it's ready to go so it's a neat thing that you can actually at that point then use uh, natively these will fly with a tactic radio the receivers will bind to a tactic radio system so I could use our, our four channel or our six channel tactics I could also use a high tech Aurora 9 or I could even use a Spectrum or JR radio system to be able to run that AnyLink, which allows me to use my transmitter, whatever transmitter I choose, to actually fly the product. So it's kind of a neat thing. It's a big deal in the, in the uh, industry for a manufacturer to be able to reach out and embrace multiple radio manufacturers. Uh, looking at the rest of the system, though, that comes with the uh, F86 Sabre, we've got uh, an AC adapter, DC adapter, excuse me, uh, for your, your accessory port in your car, which goes into your two-cell 7.4-volt LiPo balancing charger that ships with it. Uh, that's for the, uh, the two-cell Electrofly. Uh, now, this is a, a 200 uh, 15C discharge, so this is a 200 milliamp battery, which is actually a little smaller than I'd expect on a ducted fan, but uh, we'll see what kind of run times we get out of it. And that pretty much wraps up what you see out of the box. And of course, we're going to again, we're going to fly with our T8FG with that AnyLink module attached, and uh, and see how that performs. So help me understand this. This uh, plane has to have the AnyLink to fly, or can you use which, which radio? No, you, can you, use? you can actually use any of the Tactic uh, products. That, like this is a four-channel TTX 404. They have the TTX 600, okay, or 601, or six yeah. channel yeah. series. You can use any of the Tactics um, natively. They'll they'll bind to the the receiver that's inside the okay. F86 or the TXR models. 
Um, or you can use your own transmitter. Like in our case, we're using our more advanced radio. Sure. And we just put on the AnyLink module then and connect the cable through okay. to the back. Now, so. will the AnyLink module work automatically on any radio? Um, it's they make it compatible for several radios. There's a big compatibility chart out there on the uh, Tactic website or the AnyLink uh, website. You're going to want to check that out. If you go to the TX-R, I think dot com or okay. it, there's a couple of links. Uh, we'll put those in the review that you can go out to, and uh, it'll give you all the information on the AnyLink. In some cases, you just need the cable that okay. ships with it, and it works uh, works in Futaba. And then if you look at the compatibility chart, you realize for like the Spectrum radios, which run at a higher voltage, you're going to have to use uh, a different cable that okay. actually has a small um, a life battery on board. So just make sure you check the compatibility chart, the compatibility chart, and have the right cable to connect your AnyLink. But it, it works with most of the popular brands out there on the market. All right. Well, yeah. that makes sense. Even to me, it makes Even sense. There you go. Yeah. So all you need to do is charge up our F86 battery and Correct. take it out and see how well it crashes. How well I mean, how I flies. How well I fly it. That's exactly. Oh, right. I'm letting you fly it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you come back and check out part two, which is the five x five review.